Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. All the programs we have executed till now are designed around the functions. That is for example here is a program. Here we can see a function. Function name is display and the parameter is name and this is function body and in the main function we can see the function calls. If we execute this program then we can see the output fine this type of programming techniques are called as procedural oriented programming technique there is an another way we can design our program using objects that is we can combine data and its functionality and we can wrap it inside something called as object this is called as object oriented programming technique Okay, today in this tutorial we are discussing about object oriented programming techniques. We can use these techniques whenever we want to write large programs or have problems that is better suited to this method. Here object and class are the main component of this object oriented programming technique. As in the procedural oriented programming technique, functions are the main aspect. Here in this object oriented programming class and object are the main aspects. So now we'll see what is object and what is class how to create it and all. First we'll see what is object. Object is nothing but it is the simply collection of data and its functionality. This object in the object oriented programming technique is similar to the object in the real world. For example car is an object ball is an object house is an object okay next we'll see what is class okay class is nothing but it is just a blueprint for object that is using this class we can create many objects okay next we'll see an example for class and object what is object for example if we take house it is an object and what is class then whatever the sketch or prototype of that house is called as class if you take blueprint or sketch of a house it is the example for the class and the house it is called as object using this sketch we can build many house right in the similar way using class we can create many objects class is a template to create an object or we can say class is a blueprint to create an object now we'll see how to create a class and object first to create class we need to use the keyword class followed by the class name it can be anything i'll use person okay here class is a keyword and person is my class name and we need to use this and enter now i'll just use pass that means it is an empty class okay now in the main function we'll create a object okay okay my object name is p and now i'll use class name that is person and set of parentheses this is to create a object to create a object we need to use the class name and set of parentheses okay next i'll print this object okay this is a class our class name is person and it is a empty class here in this class data and functionality are not present or we can say fields and methods are not present data is called as fields and this functionality is called as method in the class this class doesn't contain any field or methods it is just an empty class and here we created a object that is p and here in the next line we printed that object okay now i'll save this and run this here we can see the output it tells that a object belongs to class person is created in the main and it is saved in this memory location 
okay that means object is created this is an example to show how to create a class and object in this tutorial we just introduced you to the class and object concept in next tutorial we will discuss more about this class and object okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet you next class till then take care